This is a ruined 2002 BMW M3, and at the end of this video, we're going to completely restore it to make it look like new again. Let's get started. <laughs> Starting off at the front of this car, you can see it's got some less than ideal modifications. Some aftermarket grills that are not correct, it's got a bunch of paint peeling, some oxidized headlights, black corners which are not original and not my favorite, it's got fog lights that are missing in the covers, it's got an aftermarket cover on that side that it doesn't need anymore, and it's got this ugly front grill thing really wanting to get rid of. How is it on here? Oh, it's zip tied. Who does this? Coming around the side of this M3, you can see we've got these wheels that are not only horribly curb rashed, not the prettiest, but they're also bent, and that's great. I've already ordered some replacement OEM grills. I'm not a huge fan of the black look when you're trying to make the car look original, but it looks pretty good, honestly. Down here, we got a side skirt that's not fitting properly, uh, a couple little chips on the mirror, not a big deal, but overall it looks like the body is pretty straight and that's a good first sign. Looking towards the back of the car, you see some things that we really don't want, which include some smoke taillights. Not a huge fan of that look ever, really. And then here we've got some damage, some spider cracking on the bumper and some potentially buffable scratches on the metal. This looks like it needs gonna need to be painted in order to be perfect, but we'll see if that all makes sense. Right here we've got some clear coat peeling, which just looks like it's browned. I think this would look pretty good if we just polished it, but that also might need to be re-cleared to make it look perfect. And below that we've got an M3 badge that's gonna get replaced. We've got a license plate holder that has seen better days, also getting replaced. We've got a reverse camera that just doesn't belong here and it's gonna have to go. Um, overall, the bumper is in nice condition here. We've got some uh, rear parking sensors, which is nice. And then we've got an aftermarket diffuser that barely fits and uh, that's also gonna be replaced with factory OEM. And if you guys are following along closely, you can see this outside is really not that bad. The inside is what's horrible and you better wait to see because that's what's gonna be going through the craziest transformation. Everything here is super straight, no scratches or anything like that on this side. It doesn't look like it's been painted. If you look on the inner seams of the quarter panel, you can see there's no blend line. So, so that's a pretty good sign of knowing that you have original paint. All of the other stuff is in really good shape. I don't see any rust in the common areas and I'm also going to lift this car up and look at it underneath uh, when we put the new wheels on. This soft top is actually really, really nice and it looks like brand new. I don't know if it's been replaced, but honestly solid. What's cool about this car specifically is that there's a lot of components that typically are not good on a car that's kind of been hacked up, but this doesn't seem like one of those cars. It just seems like it has a couple little aftermarket additions that aren't super true to the original car and need some cleaning and TLC. Now taking a closer look under the hood, you can see that it's definitely dirty. The only aftermarket modification is this AFE intake elbow and cold air intake filter, which is actually not that bad of a mod. It's going to sound a little bit better, a little more of that induction noise. We're going to have to do a complete detail on this, just like we did on the 640 video. If you look, the $100,000 daily driver video, which link will be right below. All right, so before we even get started on this thing, we are using the ozone filter to literally remove all bacteria, smells, germs from inside of the car. It's pretty cool technology that detailers have been using for years and I finally bought one uh, for the shop considering how many cars we clean. So that's gonna be making that car smell a whole lot better and a lot less full of bacteria and whatnot. And then we can start the process of restoring it. We're really on a, a white kick these days. 9-11. And this thing is good.
Now, as you guys can see, we got the white car gang together. We even got a new addition back here, but we're gonna save that for a later video. Guys, we made a lot of progress on this E46 M3 since it was delivered, and it's been an interesting project throughout. But like I said, this car is actually really, really nice at its core. It just needed a lot, a lot of work. Some things we're still waiting on are that rear diffuser because a certain eBayer decided to cancel my transaction on a white one. And then we also need to find a pair of two new front seats or a full interior replacement. Now we obviously we spent a lot of time shampooing and conditioning uh, the carpets on the inside. So it's very clean in there. And if we actually swap the interior, we would have to do everything in black because any other color besides gray requires black so ideally two new gray front seats in the next episode button everything up add a couple little trim pieces here and there that need to be done like that front grill that has a little hole in it uh, bring it over to Larry's down the street to get a full inspection done fluids all that good stuff to make sure the thing is proper and has a clean bill of health and honestly it should be a pretty pretty nice running and driving m3 now there's a lot of these deals out there that you guys can also find it just takes a little bit of sweat equity overall and no different than the 911 project or the six series project back in the corner over here. Not only did we clean the whole entire interior, but we replaced the front head lenses, we replaced the corner lights, we replaced the rear M3 badge, we replaced the wheels, we cleaned absolutely everything on the car, we buffed out any weird spots, we removed the whole antenna system and radio system that was completely wonky, and we were really making progress on this car. Now short of a couple front seats like we mentioned, uh, this car is pretty much ready to go and is going to be a great addition to the collection, especially being out Alpine white. But with that being said, guys, like this video if you like it, dislike it if you did not. Subscribe would mean the absolute world to me. You can follow me on Instagram at Kyle Solcar and at Solcar Media for all the behind the scenes goodness. Once again, thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.